Hey everyone, we're going to take a few minutes to look through Snap Plus Core AAC app um, that is customized for our school children um, with DTA schools. So we're going to show you the, the, um, the more simplistic version. If you have students that are at a higher level, um, you can go back up and look. There's another video um, looking at the full version at the 80 location. Um, but this is more simplified. A lot of our students are more at this level. Um, than at that, that 80 location level. Okay, so when you first turn on the app, um, you're going to come up to the default home page, which is the core words. Um, you can get to this page by either activating the core word button right here or by um, clicking on the home button up here. All right, now you can change that home button to be another. Um, another another page, but it comes standard that it links to this page because we're starting with, you know, core first, right? Um, the core vocabulary, if you've hung out with us for very long, you know that those are the most frequently used words in our language. Um, so we want to give our, um, our students who use AAC access to these power words, right? Um, with these words, you can, you can start to combine and make messages. And even our students who are at this beginning level of communication um, still need to learn what these words mean. So they may, they may be able to just hit one word at a time. They might be able to say, I like something, right? Like. Or they might be able to say, you know, I want something. Why? So even at a one word level, they can still work on these core vocabulary words. All right. Um, if they're if they're moving beyond that and they're ready to start putting words together, they might things like say say phrases like, um, I capital I want, want and then speak the whole message. I want. Okay. Or click the message window and say the whole message. I want. Okay. All right. They can say things like, I do not, not like. I do not like it, right? Say the whole message. Not like. Okay, so we can do single words. We can do two word phrases. I mean, we can even do more than that, right? We can go back and we can say in our core words, um, we can say, you, you do not, not like, like it, right? Okay. All right, so those are our core vocabulary words. Remember, you can you are um, potentially just teaching one word at a time, and that is okay. Okay, now the next thing I want to show you on here is as a part of our core words, we have actions. This little plus means there's more actions, okay? So if you're looking for things like eat and read and drink, and they are not here on this main page, that's because they're less frequent. There's a design to that, right? So don't go putting them on there. You're going to touch your action button, and look, here are some of your more common wor action words. So there's help, and there's eat, eat. and there's, if we go back, there's drink. drink. Okay, now it's set right now to automatically link back, but it doesn't have to do that. Okay, all right, so that's core vocabulary. Um, the next thing I want you to look at is when we're at this le level, these words over here, okay, this, this personal word list, we, we call it my stuff, right? Just to make it a little bit more friendly for our kids. Um, this personal, uh, personal word list is where we put all of the personally motivating words for our students. So in here is gonna be where we have things like our family. My family. Okay, so we might have mom. Mom. And dad. Dad. And grandma. Grandma. Right, okay. Um, we might have our favorite food items would be in here. So there's food right here. My okay. Foods. And we would put our favorite foods. So maybe we would have our Cheetos or if you're me, our pizza or our steak, right? Um, right in here. So you can get to it very, very quickly. So our students who are just learning to use AAC, these are the words that they're going to be motivated to say. We're not telling them what to say. They're saying what they want to say. And that's what's on these pages. Okay. You'll see my fun stuff. My fun stuff. Um, we might have our leisure, all of this gray area here. You can add whatever buttons in here you want to. You can add photographs in here. You can change these messages. Okay, so if we go back, um, you'll see that there's things like my stores and my restaurants. And if you are part of um, our program, DTA Schools, or you come to our clinic, um, you will probably also have a little button down here for school. That is where we've school. customized um, the words that we find um, helpful to have at school. So in here, when you click school teachers, school teacher. this will have photographs of your student or your child's teachers, okay? All right, um, school places, classes, leisure activities that are specific maybe school to leisure. your child's classroom in here. Okay, 
So now going back to our, our core words, we have our core words to make messages. We have our personal word list. Um, the uh, next thing over here in terms of just single words I want to show you is the all word list. Now the all word list is like a dictionary. I don't usually make changes in this all word list. I treat it like a dictionary um, because I want to keep things in order, alphabetical order in here, and organized in a way that is predictable so that when a student moves up into higher levels, then they'll be able to access them very easily. Things won't move around so much on them. So when you look in here, say we go to food and drink, um, in this food and drink, you're going to have the most common foods and drink, but then you're going to have links to subcategories of foods and drinks. So if you went to breakfast foods, it's going to give you the most common breakfast foods. You'll see they're on this list here. You can scroll just by running your finger up and down the screen. You can scroll to get to more items. But again, these are the most common ones um, that are part of that, that dictionary, that word list, right? Um, so again, I don't typically change these a lot myself. You might choose to, but I feel like if you're going to do, if you're going to be adding in things that are personally motivating, there's already a really great, great place for that, and that's in your personal word list right here or what we call our my stuff pages okay so we have core words we have our dictionary we have our my stuff or our personal word list all right so let's go over here I'm gonna move my little face over here um, so I can show you the other tools um, there are also something called quick fires now we're moving into something that to that Toby's really good at and that those are um, pre-stored highly frequent word um, uh, messages so quick fires um, on some devices, you might see quick fires um, labeled social or chat. These are messages that we use across um, environments and activities um, to uh, communicate with a variety of people. So no matter where you are, you may have the need to be able to say yes. Yes. Or to say no. No. Right? Or say something, no way. Or no way. Look at that, right? No. So if you can imagine if you're sitting in your in your classroom and a, you know somebody comes to the door, knocks on the door and says, hey, we're going to have a fire drill later on, you can quickly say something. You can say, oh, no. No. Oh, man. No way. No way, right? <laughs> okay. Um, you might say something like, really? Really. Really? Okay. You notice that when I activate these, they do not go to the message window. That is by design because the message window is where we build sentences by putting words together. These are not in these, even though they look like single words, they're not meant for, for sentence building. Okay. They're meant for quick messages. Now within quick fires, there's categories. So there are greeting, there's a greeting, um, greeting quick fire. So if we go to greetings, okay, we're going to have things like, hi, Hi. How are you? How are you? You know, I'm pretty good, right? Pretty good. How's it going? Okay. How's it going? Um, and you'll see, one of the things you'll see in here is that it's not just the rote um, messages, the, that rote greeting routine that we teach. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Um, but it lets you expand just a little bit beyond that. Now, you can't be super specific on this page, but you can say to somebody, how's it going? How's and it if going? they say to you, oh, I had a really great time last night. I went to the movies then you have a way to comment okay you can make one take one more turn so we can say oh that's awesome awesome right or if it's not such a good thing that they told you you could say oh no way no way right all right so it just takes you a little a step beyond just those that rote greetings okay now if we go back in our quick fires we also have personal needs all right so this is where we're going to get into our eat eat drink and potty right um, so these are messages that, that are um, allow us to tell somebody when we need something, but we can do it very quickly as well. Now sometimes these are the words that when people first start with AAC, a lot of times they want to take these words and put them on the main page, so back out here on this page. Now there's a reason we do not do that, and I think it's fairly obvious if you look at this screen. We have very limited real estate. So if we start putting things on this front page in an unorganized way, um, we're going to quickly run out of room, right? So we want to keep those messages that are sort of similar in a similar place, but still make them easy to access. So the way that we do that is within quick fires, we can go to quick fires, okay, personal needs, and we can quickly get to bathroom. I need to use the bathroom. Now the very first time you see this, I know what you're thinking. The very first time you see this, you're going to think, oh my gosh, that is three steps of navigation and the child needs to understand what quick fires are and then they need to understand what needs are to be able to get to their bathroom. Now that if a child 
was learning the meaning of those icons, um, that could be really challenging for some of our kids. But guess what? People don't learn those mo those messages in that manner, okay? We might teach them we're gonna go to our quick fires and we need something, so we're gonna go to our need button before we say bathroom. I need to use the bathroom. But the reality is, is how they're going to learn this and use it is they're gonna learn a series of motor movements, which is just like speech, right? Speech is just a series of motor movements of our mouth and our breathing, right? Using our device is the same thing. It's a series of motor movements to get to a, to a message. If I wanna say bathroom, Bathroom involves three movements. One, two, three. I need to use the bathroom. Okay, and so kids learn that sequence. They learn to say one, two, three. I need to use the bathroom. Okay, it's gonna take a minute, but it's worth it in the end because our students are not gonna stay at this four by four level. Many of them are gonna move on up and we want them to always know how to get to that bathroom. And it's always going to be quick fires, this in, kind of in that middle top button, and then all the way over to the I left. I need to use the bathroom. Okay. All right. So going back to our quick fires, there's also feelings. And this is not just happy, sad, mad, but it's full phrases. Remember, these are those kind of pre-stored messages that we can quickly communicate. So things like, I like I it, like I'm, sad. I'm sad. You know, I can even ask a question about feelings. What's wrong? What's wrong? Right? Okay. Going back to quick fires. At this level, we also have my phrases. And my phrases is just a place right now. It's very empty where you would put phrases that your student really likes to say. Okay. So more customized. All right, now moving along, we have core vocabulary so we can put sentences together. We have an entire dictionary of words. We have our personally motivating words that we're gonna teach, and we have our quick fire so that we can communicate um, generic messages across activities. Um, topics is something that um, Toby Donovox really, um, although you'll see, you'll see these kind of messages in other systems, Toby really does the, the best job of, of presenting us with a set of pre-stored messages. Um, that are really fully developed and how these topics work is what they're doing is making use of the fact that we we tend to um, go to the same places and do the same things and say the same messages every single day so if we're gonna say the same message every single day why would we create that one word at a time over back in our core words that's slow okay if we know we're gonna say the same thing over and over again all right, so let's take a look at what that looks like. I'm gonna go down to the cafeteria button right here, okay? And in here, you're gonna see, let's move my little let's move my little image over again. You're gonna see messages related to the cafeteria. So I might say these same, same things every single day. I might wanna say something like, Where do you want to sit? Where do you wanna sit? Maybe I say that every single day. And you know, for some of our kids, they always say, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. They may be saying, Let's eat all day long, right? Okay, so these messages are very common, frequently used messages, um, and so they'll, they'll be able to access these. Now, you'll see they're color-coded, blue are questions, orange are kind of your, your basic comments, right? Um, comments and messages, and then your green is, positive, is something positive to say, and your red border is something negative to say, all right? Now these, you know, you, as we talk about topics, they're very, they're very unique to individual students, right? So you are going to want to change these and that is okay. This isn't like that word list. This is a place where we really want it to say the things that our child wants to be able to say. So you can go in here and you can change this. Um, you probably want to stick to this, this plan of having questions at the top and some common statements in the middle, positive and negative at the bottom, um, just to make it easier across topics topics for people for kids to know where to go to find those types of messages now in your topics you're going to also see topic words topic words are a way for us to get to not full pre-stored messages but the individual words that relate to that environment so in the cafeteria some of the word the words individual words that relate to the cafeteria are things like cafeteria and eat, eat. and lunch. lunch and lunch money lunch. right there's also some um, links out to those subcategories that also link to cafeteria. So we could get to our lunch and dinner items, right? And then all of our lunch and dinner items are here. And if we scroll by rubbing our finger up the screen, up and down the screen, we can get to some more messages there. In here, you can also put in your 
your specific words. And again, this is this should be customized for you, right? No messages in here, right? These are just individual words. When we go back, this is where the messages live, all right? Okay, so the last thing to show you on our um, app is that if you scroll down, there is a keyboard. Now, at this level, at a four by four level, Probably our kids are not spelling messages, but that doesn't mean they shouldn't have access to their letters. They still need access to letters to start playing with um, creative spelling and learning, learning what those, those letters sound like and what happens when you start putting them together. Um, now we are limited, I'm gonna slide over here. We're limited by the number of buttons on the page. So if you click this button right here, it's gonna take you to just A, a through G, right? Um, now you can, it does word prediction, so if you start to type something, like maybe I type um, pizza, okay, I'm going to go back to my, my letters, I'm going to go to this one that has P, where the P lives, and now my student is probably not going to type the word pizza out, because we're at this level, again, we may not be really making words, but we could do things like say, oh man, I really want pizza, p -p pizza do you see the letter for pizza what should we use for that oh yeah p says p -p -p. that's what pizza starts with and so we can select our p, p right you you're going to be doing a lot of support through this now if you have a student who is at this four by four level and they are spelling they are starting to put words letters together and you know they need this you can go in and modify the keyboard so that it links to a full keyboard, not just to this limited one. So you're not stuck here. Don't think you're stuck here. You can, we can go in and we can make changes to that. Okay. Um, the final thing in the toolbar to look at is the dashboard. All right. The dashboard is just a place where we can turn the volume up, turn the volume down. We can mute it and we can connect to different apps. Okay. So that is our whole uh, Snap Plus Core first um, at a four by four level, customized the way that we do it at Dynamic Therapy. I'll see you later.